Hi, I'm Sam Benson from Apple Retro Research Center. We've got a new book here. Dean and I wrote, and also Dale Andrietta and Richard Lawrence put together this book that shows the work we did for the Department of Energy over the past three years. I'm going to show you one of the stoves that we developed in that work. We've got a tea lead stove. This was made mostly by Kirk Harris, but it's built off of a lot of other things that we did too. Um, so what he's got here, this is where the fuel goes. It goes inside this, this chamber. And there's also a lever that controls the firepower. When you push it this way, it brings a plate up and it closes off the primary air supply. And when you pull it this way, it opens up the plate and allows more air to come in. The, this area is where the wood gas is generated, and this is, this is where it's burned. There are some, it's a stationary fan blades are in there, and so when the, when the gases come up through the bottom, they pass by these, this area which adds more, adds more secondary air, but they pass into these fan blades and it makes a really nice swirl and flame. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's burning. There it is burning. The flames are swirling because of those fan blades. There's Dean closing the lever, bringing the plate up so that the flame will decrease. It's choking off the primary air that will decrease the flame size. Okay, he's opening it back up, dropping that plate down so more primary air can come through. Now the flame will come back up. There you have it. Primary air control, turn down T lead. If you'd like to find more information about how to make this stove, go to www.apravetro.org to download a book Clean Burning Biomass Cook Stoves. See you later.